business with this live stream. I'm sorry for the delay. I uh, had a punctual start, but I had some problems starting this wonderful A to A Piper, and uh, well, yeah, it um, forced me to do an auto start. Uh, couldn't get the engine started, so I'm starting here with a little bit of a delay, but long story short we will uh, just uh, do a quick taxi here in uh, Friedrichshafen that I I just installed that um, because I wanted to show you a beautiful start into this beautiful scenery So we are here at the general aviation parking space in Friedrichshafen and we're going to do a taxi to the runway now and we are going to start in the uh, northerly direction. So I had to deactivate the uh, actual the real weather because it wasn't uh, good enough to show you the scenery. It's rainy here at the moment and uh, that's not very good for showing you this scenery. We're going to do a short flight like I am doing it in all of these live streams, just about half an hour around that and I want to uh, show you how OpenLC Europe from Orbex uh, does uh, certain areas of Europe and this one uh, is uh, as I said before Friedrichshafen and uh, it is in uh, southern Germany it uh, borders with uh, it, it, it's on the lake of it's at the lake of Constance and uh, it borders with uh, Switzerland and Austria this area so it makes a beautiful starting ground for some exploration here so I'm going to show you this right now we are not exactly at the beginning of the runway I am aware of that but I think we are good enough with this airplane so I'm going to switch all the lights now fuel pump of course are going to start here Directed now. Lake now. 
it's evening here. By the way. So I am going to switch on the autopilot now. Master and its mode heading. Heading mode, okay, and we're going to keep on climbing a little bit because I want to show you uh, the mountains, of course. Take a look, it's beautiful. airport over there. Let's take a look at this. And uh, you can see that the airport really fits in. It, it's not... Uh, I mean, I don't know how old the add-on is. Friedrichshafen, I really don't know. But you can immediately see that it, it really blends in very well, so they did a great job with this. I, I really can't appreciate that enough. And um, if we take a look now at the, at the border of uh, the lake, that is uh, very accurate. Actually. I mean, it's not 100% uh, accurate, but uh, it is very, very accurate. It's not a photo view scenery, just keep that in mind. Um, there's a question here in the chat. It uh, reads, does OpenLC Europe hit the frames more than FTX Global does? Uh, thank you for the question. It's a very good question. Uh, no, it doesn't. At least in uh, my experience, it doesn't. I'm not having any problems with the frames. I didn't have any problems with the frames with FTX Global, to be honest. Um, and I'm not having any troubles uh, right now. In my experience, uh, I, I read a lot in the community forums about uh, FTX Global, all that stuff, how it affects frame rates and all that. And I can honestly tell you, maybe it cuts you away like one or two frames I think that's all not more and I think that's a very good deal if you just keep in mind what this add-on does with your simulator it gives you an extremely more sophisticated experience so for example take a look at this picture here or at this uh, view you can see um, now, um, when you look over my right wing, that's the Swiss, that's the Swiss part uh, that borders with the Lake of Constance. And if you take a look here, um, you can see how the uh, the landscape uh, changes a little bit. Uh, it's very subtle, but it, it's there. So you can see this is the uh, the landscape in Germany, and this is the landscape in Switzerland. Wait a minute, what's, what's now? Why is he...? Okay. Um, and you can see that it's a, a little bit different. There are more, there's more farmland here in Switzerland. And uh, there are a little bit bigger cities. And you can see this city here, uh, which sh should be St. Gallen. Um, you can see that this is also uh, a little bit different. So you can see even these sub subtle changes are there and they are uh, uh, rendered very well. This for example is uh, Altenrhein, that's a small regional airport in Switzerland and um, 
you can see that you can also see that the the landscape changes dramatically here as we have the rather flat or hilly landscape in southern Germany and it dramatically changes with the border to Austria and Switzerland where the Alps begin and you can see the high mountains rising up here and uh, that's beautifully it's, it's beautiful beautifully represented here so I really like that okay so we'll return to the cockpit now because I wanted to show you uh, the Alps as well so we are what are we going to do I don't like the clouds here they block my view well I think it's best to keep on climbing I think we could land at uh, there's a small airport down there uh, I think it's called Bad Ragaz let me take a look. L S Z E. Let's make a direct to. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let's take a look if it's in here. Okay, we're up in the clouds now. I'm going to uh, speed up the climb a little bit now. Once again, take a look at the scenery, it's beautiful. So we're leaving the Lake of Constance area now. And uh, this is uh, Vorarlberg, which is uh, Bregenz back there at the end of the lake, or at the beginning of the lake, however you want to call it. And this is the Rhein which uh, flows into the Lake of Constance and later leaves it uh, at the other end. So this is all beautifully represented. I'm trying to show you the Sentis. I originally had that in mind, to be honest with you. But the problem is that with all these clouds, I'm not sure if I can really show it to you. So let's take a look where we are. So once again you can see um, this is Switzerland. This is Switzerland here. And uh, the Rhine flows through the Rhine Valley here. And uh, this uh, part over there, this is already Austria, this is Vorarlberg, it's the westernmost uh, part of Austria. And uh, this is very realistic uh, because um, this part of the Rhine Valley here is uh, just a farmland with a few little towns spread in. And uh, you can already see that um, there's a little bit more farmland here in, Ger uh, in Germany, in Switzerland. This is uh, realistic because I, I know this uh, region, so I can tell you 
it is realistic. I am sorry about the clouds. I really hope that we will be able to get above them because uh, just uh, before us there are already the mountains starting because it will be a beautiful view. That should be uh, a mountain that is called Huacasten. And I think this one behind here should be the Sentis, at least according to the altitude readout here. So we should be heading there. It's a pity with those clouds. But as you can see, there are already some mountains showing up here. And I think the Huacasten is just right below us. trying to set the weather oh, okay this is much better wait a minute what is now okay that's not good Okay, I can now activate the uh, altitude hold. This is some weird behavior right now. What's wrong? Ugh. I don't know, maybe it's because I changed the weather. Now let me change the mode here. My heading and altitude. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. So I'm trying to orient. Uh, get, the <laughs> get the orientation. Uh, wait a minute. This should be. Oh, okay. I think I got, got it now. This is. Uh, the Hue Kasten here, and there should be a cable car running up here. I think it is that one. It's not easily identifiable here because it doesn't look like in the real world. And um, if you look down here, that's um, Liechtenstein. And uh, I think a According to this, this should be, I hope I'm not wrong, this should be the Sentis here. This massive mountain here. And it should have a tower on top, which is a, a big antenna. Of course it's not. It's unfortunately it's not modeled here. But it is a very beautiful view. And you can see that the dramatic change that uh, this that these add-ons bring into the 
the simulator. Alright, so we are planning to go to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to do here now, because we are... Let me take a look. Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. There's a beautiful uh, lake here. We are going to fly over it. It's called uh, Balensee. And this, these mountains here, they are called Kurfürsten. If you ever pass by them with your car, it's uh, unmistakable. It's a very, very high... Uh, these are massive mountains just in front, or the lake is just uh, squeezed in between the mountains. But you will be able to take a look at it in a minute. And if you follow this valley here that you see here, and if you go there, you will end up. You, I think, you can already see the uh, Lake of Zurich, and of course, somewhere there is the Zurich International Airport. speed because you don't want to go into the yellow band because that means you are putting a lot of stress on the airframe don't want to do that try to do some aerobatics here with you. Let's take a look if I can go through anywhere here. We're at 9,000 feet, 9,700. Because I want to go I want to sink a little bit to show you the scenery because that's what I, what I want to do with these flights here and uh, honestly I, I'm having problems to remember standard FSX so uh, because take a look at this river here how it runs through this valley and, and, and this looks so real I mean I, I, I almost don't remember how FSX looked what it looked like in in its standard um, in its standard how should I say installation I don't remember anymore because I'm having I've been having Orbex add-ons for such a long time 
Alright, so we are going to deactivate the autopilot. Alright. Okay, rain. Okay, now in the channel there's a suggestion for one of the next streams, which would be uh, Switzerland, the village of Zermatt, and of course the Matterhorn. Yeah, I can do that. Why not? No problem. Uh, in one of my next streams. Of course, because you are... Unfortunately, the uh, FIPS pilot isn't here because he wanted to see this part of the world or uh, this part of Europe unfortunately he's not here but of course I can do that that would be a perfect opportunity to show you the Alps or the uh, the more rugged part of the Alps so Let's go down here. Alright, I hope you can see this. How beautiful this forest is modeled here. And there's the lake popping up right below us. Of course you shouldn't be doing this in the real world. Okay, this is the Wallensee. Okay. Now it muted the sound somehow. Okay, so this is the Wallensee. weather very realistic okay we don't need the carburetor heat anymore and I'm going to reactivate the autopilot because uh, I've got some work to do here actually Alright, 
Okay, so we're going to follow this valley and then we're going to land at Bad Ragaz. And in case someone noticed, um, the work I just mentioned that I have to do is take a look at this. Um, the right fuel tank is fuller than the left fuel tank and I noticed an imbalance. I left the fuel pump on which is wrong but uh, I'm going to do that now. Uh, wait a minute. And I'm going to switch the fuel tanks now to the right tank. Watching fuel pressure is staying. Okay. Perfect. And I'm now draining the right tank in order to balance the airplane out again. So I'm sorry for the bad weather here, but uh, I can honestly tell you that um, the, the scenery here is very, very realistic. It really looks like this in the real world. It's very, very beautiful. Okay. We're almost... We are nearing the end of this live stream. So I have one suggestion already with uh, Tamat and the heart of the Alps and the Matterhorn, which is a very nice uh, I'm a little bit astonished that no one uh, mentioned uh, the Mediterranean by now I'm certainly going to take a look at that but bear in mind as we are passing this area here um, from I mean I know this area very well and I know there is a town here okay and it's not a small town it's a rather big town actually um, it's called Wallenstadt and it's, it's, it's in fact it's a small city I mean the the road that goes through here is very realistic that's perfect and everything but the town is missing but that should serve you as a reminder this is not photo real and um, this is uh, not hundred percent true to reality it is very very close to reality but it's it's not reality um, like a photo reel or a hand placed scenery does the job okay but um, the developers already made a statement about this uh, about this I wouldn't call it a problem about this fact and they said hey in case you you fly over your area and you see that a town is totally missing um, or something isn't quite on the spot as you know it just write them uh, a ticket or a, a mail I don't know you have to check on their website and you can tell them and they and if you're lucky they will include it in the first uh, service pack for OpenLC Europe so I think that's I think that's that's a great uh, um, way of uh, customer support and customer feedback and um, yeah if you run over one of these things just let them know tell them and maybe uh, that will be included in the next update okay so we are heading for uh, Bad Ragaz now we are going to, to make our landing preparations we are at 2000 feet we are going to set the mixture full rich fuel pump on the lights should be already configured for landing.
see some cars driving down on the freeway. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's prepare for the landing. Slow down. Deactivate the autopilot. Flaps one. Two. We have a good approach speed now, around eighty knots. small airfield all right Field. Hoping I'm getting this right. <laughs> this is a small runway. <laughs> okay, let me check this. Oh, no, 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 no. This doesn't look good. Go around. Second try. Very, very small runway indeed. Okay, 
This is a really hard landing. It's an extremely small runway. So bear with me and forgive my errors or whatever. Okay. So I'm going to have to flaps full, otherwise I won't make it. <laughs> better now way better Ooh. come on just land a little bit off center and welcome in Badragatz I think this is not a realistic rendition of the airport. But it's okay for me. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, looking forward to the next live stream, which will probably uh, probably be in Zermatt. Um Yeah, hope you will be there with me. And uh, leave me comments. I will upload this uh, live stream. Uh, as always on YouTube and uh, yeah just leave me a comment leave me a message about what you want to see and until next time as always happy landings <laughs>